windsurfer at Sun Moon Lake. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Got some more Swiss chard to eat. Ooh, my fingers are dirty. Hope I don't have anything in my teeth. I just ate some Swiss chard from the from the garden right out here. Uh, so I have an announcement, and that is I'm going to be running the VIA, the Lehigh Valley Marathon again, which is a really fast marathon in the United States. Fast meaning, meaning pretty flat and a lot of downhills. So uh, gradual downhills, but it, that makes it fast. So really excited to try to beat my time of 3.53 in the marathon. Uh, going for maybe a 3.45, I don't know. I'll probably set three time goals. Um, something that's really, you know, hitting it out of the ballpark and then something you know, around 345 and then my last time goal would be just to get under four hours again. It would be really nice. So that's what I'm trying to work for right now. I just started a new training cycle. So my weekend runs are not too, they're mid-range right now, around uh, eight milers or so. And I'll be stepping it up to nine pretty soon but right now is the time when I can get some other activities in um, for example I could go golfing and then put my medium long run earlier in the week and I can also do something like take little hikes uh, after I get back uh, my wife and I can go out and that's what we did this weekend we went to Sun Moon Lake again because it's only an hour away and we did a nice little hike from the Florida Chain hotel we didn't stay there we just like to grab a bite to eat there because it's just a really nice environment and park we park our car there and then there's really easy access to a trail that goes partially around uh, one part of the lake and we did a three mile hike not very long but it's just um, you know about uh, 2k to the Wen Wu Miao which is the Wen Wu temple and we discovered that to get to the from the trail to the temple, you have to climb these steps. And the steps are very interesting. They, there's, um, on the trail, you can go down to the lake, and that's roughly, I don't know, 150 steps down, and then 150 steps up to the temple. And the entire, well, more than that, because there's 366 steps. And on each step, there is a name of a famous person, and I'm assuming it's their birth date. So for every day of the year, there is a step and a name or names of a famous person. So I'll give you some video of that. And I also have garden updates and maybe I'll even throw in a little bit of, uh, I'm doing a, a workout today. So I'll throw that in at the end. See what I'm doing to uh, get ready for the marathon. This is, uh, I'm doing total body workouts twice a week in addition to all my running. So check it out. We've never been up here. So this goes to a temple and that goes down to the lake. Are you ready? Okay. Okay, let's do it. So we said, we saw a sign. There should be 365 stairs Starting with number one, and then these are these are names. So who are these people? All right, we'll check it out. And they go up and up, and probably twice as far as you can see. And then there's a temple at the top. I think they must be uh, birth dates. So I'm, uh, I'm in August now, and the people over there are, they're people from all over the world, just their name is written in, in Chinese. Like so, at the bottom we saw Elvis Presley and Mozart. I'm assuming that's their birthday. I gotta catch up with my wife. She headed back to the Florida Teen Hotel. She's walking. Catch up with her. We've done about two miles so far. A bunch of stairs. 
So starting off at Florida Chain, you cross the street and enter the trail right here. And the trail goes around the lake. I don't think it goes completely around. We only did maybe three miles of it. So we got the lake on this side and our dinner and the hotel pool on this side. <laughs> I want to thank my friends JC and Trooper Wu for the seed pack. They used some seeds and planted some wild arugula, baby leaf, and they gave me the rest of the seed pack. We'll see how much is left. Uh, interestingly, these two characters here are the characters for sesame. So it's like sesame plant in Chinese. Interesting. All right, let's check out the inside. There's quite a bit left here. Look how small those things are. They are small seeds. So I'll spread these out evenly. I got a whole bunch of pots ready for this stuff. I think I'm gonna plant it in phases because I have enough. So like every week, plant a little bit more and then I can extend my harvests. This is my old grill I used to always put spinach in. So I'm gonna add a little bit more soil to this old soil. Sorry about the noise. Truck out there. I just made some grooves. I don't even think you can see that with my finger. And I pinch some of these along the grooves. I made about five grooves, rows in this soil. Today is an off day, both for teaching and for running. So I'm gonna take my wife's fold-up bike over. I do have to go into the school to change some light bulbs. <laughs> so I'm gonna take this over there. It's only a mile over, but I have to carry this over a very large bridge. So that's what I'm doing. Uh, Runner's Garden signing off. <sighs> More steps.